Welcome again YouTubers. In this video I will be giving you some further explanation of the reasons why we experience so much engine vibration in these three cylinder engines. Alright, I'm just going to use an analogy for especially for persons who do not have much experience in these type of engine or may not be able to visualize if I explain using technical terms. Now say for example, all right, we have three cylinders in this engine. In a four cylinder engine, we have four cylinders. Now um, say for example, um, our, the power stroke is what is mostly important to propel this vehicle. And you need that power stroke to drive the engine so that the engine can rotate throughout the other strokes, the intake, the compression, and the exhaust strokes. So the power stroke is what drives the engine through these strokes so that they can occur. Now, so the, the power stroke is very important. Now, I'm going to use an analogy, and the analogy is that for this three-cylinder engine, so you have three persons representing this three-cylinder engine. Now, and each one person have a tire, and they are going to rotate it, push it from one person to the next. And say, for example, you have 20 feet that you are going to rotate or push that tire. So one person stands at, be at the beginning, one person stands in the middle, and the other person goes to the end, uh, closing 20 feet. So now that person would have to push that tire to rotate to the first person, which would be about 10 feet away. And after that person, the tire reaches that person, that person again is not going to stop the tire, but further pushes the tire so that the tire goes on to the the next person 10 feet away which covers the 20 feet distance now say you have another engine with four cylinders this time now for those four cylinders four persons representing each of those cylinder now we're going to still use the 20 feet distance to give an explanation of the the push that is available for those for that 20 feet distance now each person is going to stand not at 10 feet anymore but now five feet so the first person is going to stay um, at the start next person is going to stay five feet away the other person is going to stay another five feet away which covers 15 feet and the last person is going to stay about um, the last place which is covering 20 feet so we are going to use the same force that the, 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 the persons use in the three cylinders. Now the first person pushes the tire to the second person. And remember now the, the second person and the third person is not going to stop the tire. They are just going to add more energy to continue with that push until it reaches the last person. So the first person push the tire. The second person add more energy. The third person add more energy and then the third person would catch the tire. Now you realize that the tire is now five feet, the, the persons are now five feet apart and not ten feet as in the three cylinder engine. So you have more of the, um, the power stroke occurring in the four cylinder engine than a three cylinder engine over the same distance because you have four cylinders instead of three so because of the four cylinders you have a more smoother um, smoother idle when the vehicle is idling and for a three cylinder you will have a more choppier idle because there's only three cylinders and as I said before with the analogy the persons would have to push the the tire for a longer distance and each person representing a cylinder and each person would represent the power stroke in each cylinder so the further the distance the persons have to push the tire it is the longer it will take 
for the power stroke to occur. Within a four cylinder engine, you realize that each person would just have to push the tire five feet apart or five feet away. So you realize that there are more power stroke within those within that distance than the, 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 the three cylinder engine which would have to push it 10 feet away. So and because of this you will find out that you will have a choppier idle for the three cylinder engine and the greater expectation for the engine to vibrate under load. Hopefully this video can be of some assistance to you and explain some reasons why you will find out that you have more vibration in a three cylinder than a four cylinder. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Have yourself a nice time.